My name is Christy Marie Battinger. I graduated in 2006 and my degree was in architectural engineering technology. Uh, my name is Jason B. Horn. I uh, graduated in the early 2000s um, from Delgado. And I say that because it was before Hurricane Katrina, but um, I was able to graduate in occupational safety and health. My name is Brandy Barberin. My major was nursing and I graduated from Delgado in May of 2004. My name is Lista Hank. I graduated in December 1997 from Delgado's Charity School of Nursing. My name is Furnace Sabla. I graduated in 1997 uh, in radiology. My name is Sarah Covert. Um, I'm the owner of Sarah's Pet Care Revolution and I graduated in 2015 with my Entrepreneurship Studies Certificate from Delgado as part of the Goldman Sachs program. My name is Wendell Wendling. I graduated from Delgado in 1977 and my major uh, at that time was uh, electrical technologies, which was uh, a prerequisite, I guess, for being an electrician. I'm employed as, um, at Holly and Smith Architects. I'm an associate um, AIA, which means I'm an intern. I'm on my way to becoming a licensed architect. I've always had a passion for architecture. I just never knew it was something that I could do or, or, or exactly what can you do with that. Um, there's a lot that you can do. It's not just an architect. There's, you know, you can be a commercial architect. You could be um, a residential. You could go on and, and work for specific other type of um, companies with a degree in architecture. So it kind of, I knew I liked that. I, I liked architecture. Um, and then coming here kind of opened my eyes to understand what are all the possibilities within that degree. Well, I used this program as a stepping stool. Um, I was able to come to Delgado, um, like I said, while I was still working full time, and, and see if it was something that I really liked, if, if architecture was something that I could actually get into. So once I graduated from Delgado, I realized that I could take this to, the, to another step and I could go and get my bachelor's degree. And after that, on my path to become a licensed architect. I ended up choosing my major by uh, a position I got with the Air Force. It was occupational safety and health. Uh, it was ground safety manager. And through going through the training in the Air Force, um, the Air Force has a community college of the Air Force where we actually are trained for our jobs and positions. From there, it made me look further into what else was offered as the safety career field is very uh, huge. So I looked at Delgado, that was already in, I changed my major again. Probably was like the third time I changed my major. And I got into the occupational safety and health. And uh, Dr. Chidi Anikiwa was the um, person over the safety department. Um, and we got a real good relationship because of my knowledge from the Air Force. And I applied it in the classrooms here. And it actually allowed me to be more in depth into my career field. So it was, it was through that way I found my major. The program actually helped me find my direction in my career field um, with the Air Force. It, it enhanced my knowledge. It enhanced the uh, experience that I was able to take back with me and share with the other safety um, colleagues of mine. Um, it, was a, it was a great experience. Delgado prepared me for my job in many ways. Um, it was the first place that I came after high school, so it was a good transition to set the foundation for the professional workforce. Um, it prepared me to be compassionate and just overall take good care of my patients. Uh, one of my teachers that stood out was Ellen Maneri. She was my uh, instructor my first semester of nursing school, and I actually got to work alongside of her when I was an instructor at Charity for a little while, so she's just awesome all around. I guess I was kind of sort of at a place in my other career where I just didn't want to go forward there, and so I was kind of looking around. I had a friend who had graduated from Charity at, uh, and was very happy as a nurse, and um, I started thinking about that it was a good career opportunity. It's funny, I talk to a lot of students at Charity and a lot of them say, oh, I wanted to be a nurse since I was a little girl. I was never like that. Nursing was never on my radar. But um, in that way, I was kind of more like the guys who come to nursing school. Guys never think from 
childhood that they want to be a nurse, but at some point in their life, you know, there's a switch that goes off and they uh, realize it's a good career opportunity. There's a lot of flexibility to the career. Um, and people say, you know, you'd be good at that. And that's kind of what happened to me. There was just sort of, it just seemed right enough to where I wanted to explore it. And of course, once I started, it was an excellent fit. <laughs> And what I found at uh, Delgado was people who were also tremendously creative, uh, tremendously committed to their field, and energized by the work they were doing. So I found a new community at Delgado that uh, I fell in love with. Delgado from a radiological or a technical aspect is by far, and it's not just because I'm biased, because I attended, but it's the best education you can get in the state for, for, for x-ray. And I know that's the same as you know, across a lot of different um, technical fields that, that are offered here at Delgado. Um, so they prepared me extremely well to set me up to be successful in the field of radiology where my degree from Delgado is highly respected in the field of radiology, so uh, it really did me a lot of good. I would highly recommend to anybody that I came into contact with to seek out Delgado as a viable uh, educational opportunity to set themselves on the path of success. Um, so as the owner of Sarah's Pet Care Revolution, um, I have nine employees and uh, it's not a position that I expected to end up in. So the Goldman Sachs program was particularly helpful in developing my skills as a business owner. So the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses program is hard. <laughs> it's 17 weeks basically boot camp for your business. It's hard to do it at the same time that you're running your business, but there is nothing that compares to it. Um, I've done a lot of coaching, I've paid people for coaching over the years, and I still haven't gotten what I've gotten from that program. I had a, uh, a cousin that uh, graduated from Delgado, and he, was, he went through an electrical program, and then of course a little prodding from my mother also, uh, right out of high school. So it, uh, it, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a good career path for me, and it, again, you know, looking back, it, it's turned out to be a, a great career path. It, it, it gave me the uh, confidence, uh, the foundation, the educational background to pursue my uh, first career as an electrician and then to actually move on to uh, building operations, uh, become an operating engineer for the city of New Orleans also, uh, Class A electrical license for uh, New Orleans, and then on, on to uh, uh, energy management and solutions uh, for buildings, universities. To me, it's, it's opportunity. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a great uh, starting point for a career. Uh, it, again, it inspired me to, uh, to move into other areas and gave me the confidence, uh, and, and not only as, as a, back then electrical technology, but it was, you know, you, you took English courses, science courses, physics courses, and, and all of those uh, uh, advanced my career as, as I've gone along.